Capricorn. Let's have a look and see um, at this kind of connection. What's the potential connection between you and this person? What is it that's bringing the two of you together? Okay, alignment. This is very powerful. It almost resembles the Ace of Swords, which came up for this person here. Um, they've been fighting or searching for someone like you, uh, Capricorn, and vice versa. Um, the card of alignment says that the two of you are being brought together for a higher purpose here. Um, there's a reason why, okay, alignment, because we have the Ace of Swords, uh, what resembles the Ace of Swords, this is really a the divine realm that's organizing this for you. Um, which really points to you and this person coming together because you're supposed to be in each other's lives. Now, the number five is associated with the card of alignment, which is quite powerful. The number five is all about important choices, major decisions, um, and awakening as well, because all the five senses here. So this is quite interesting, Capricorn. I think that um, not only have you uh, attracted this person, but there's also a, a very um, powerful reason as to why they're showing up in your life. So that is very, very good to see. Um, you will fight for each other. This is a connection where the two of you will very much fight for each other. Okay. Um, you've got the beautiful wings here. So communication will be quite strong. Air energy with the swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but victory. But it's all about slicing away that negativity, slicing away insecurities, removing the past, removing anything that doesn't help you in the future. So I feel like the two of you will fight for each other, which speaks of a very, very strong bond. OK, um, let's move on and have a look at areas of strength in this connection, Capricorn. Oh, OK, you have the two of pentacles. And the hermit. Two of Pentacles can be seen as indecisiveness. If this is coming up in, as your strength, then it's your ability to make a decision, manage decisions well, um, and keep everything in balance. If we read this in a positive context, the Two of Pentacles has not dropped these Pentacles. In fact, he has everything under control. He's not even sturdy on his feet, yet he makes it happen. So what I want to say is, is that no matter how tough things get, how wobbly things get, the two of you will always be able to manage each other quite well. Um, it's almost like he's doing a juggling act. I also want to say the ships represent protection, steadfastness. So the two of you, that there's a lot of protection. There's, there's no question about that, Cappy. There's a lot of protection, um, guidance, inspiration that the two of you will have towards each other. And this is very beautiful. It's, it's, it's a very powerful connection. Um, I love that this has come up because I feel like it's your ability to juggle things and manage each other quite well. Um, emotionally, because of the water, physically, because of the pentacles, um, the two of you will be able to manage this relationship. It's it, and, and look, there will be things that rock the boat in the relationship, but the fact of the matter is, is that the two of you will stand there and still juggle it out. You And, and why? Because you want to fight for each other. There's something within you that's going to tell you to keep pushing, keep persisting with this person. And likewise for them, the same thing will come up for them as well. Another one of your strengths is the Hermit. Now the Hermit seeks perfectionism. But the Virgo is a perfectionist. This is the sign um, represented by the Hermit here. And this is the sign that uh, likes to be the most perfectionist with everything he does. He likes to perfect feelings, emotions, words, communications, situations. So you'll strive for perfection and you'll strive to create the perfect relationship, not only for yourself, but more for your partner and vice versa. So I love that this has come up as one of your strengths. Um, it's also reflection, meditation and withdrawal. So I feel like you'll still have independence in your connection. You'll still feel, you'll still maintain a sense of identity, uh, Capricorn. And likewise, your partner will maintain a sense of identity as well. And this is quite powerful. So I love what this represents. Um, it's also divine guidance here. Um, guidance because he has the Star of David in his lantern here. The two of you will guide each other. There's also potential for this relationship to, to develop into older age. So this definitely speaks of long-term um, commitment in Capricorn for a lot of you. But it's... it's um, being able to reflect and juggle the relationship quite well, okay? And also analyze things. When there's an issue, you'll address it head on. There's no question about this. And the two of you will be able to work through your issues um, and obstacles in any way you see fit. Um, but it's also interest. Uh, 
the hermit is very interested in anyone who comes across his path. Why is he there? He was the gatekeeper. Why is he there? What is his intention, etc.? So this translates into there'll be so much care and involvement uh, from the both of you in this relationship that you'll feel as equal, okay? That you'll it's it's reciprocation, it's mutual understanding between the both of you. Let's have a look at the other side of the spectrum though, at your areas of challenge. Okay, you've got the emperor here, the hermit, uh, sorry, the emperor. Um, the emperor is very different from every other card. The emperor can represent in this context, in a challenging context, he is quite stubborn or quite barren. He doesn't give much away. In fact, he's so set in his ways, he's too narrow-minded to see anything else. There's also potentially a sense of entitlement then. And the only reason I say that, that's not to say that all Aries people have that. Um, he does represent the sign of Aries. But Aries can be, it is the god of conflict, okay, opposition, challenge, challenging something, conflicting it, opposing it, and standing by that, not being open-minded to any other sort of um, energy. So there might be someone here at some point in the relationship, or to some degree at least, that will feel a sense of entitlement, and that won't give much away. You can see he's he's got this very stern look. It's divine masculine energy. It's not. It's not the creative, divine feminine, softer, sensitive. It's. It's. It can even be harshness. So harshness in the way you communicate, in the way this person communicates, um, because they're so set in their ways. He's. He's aged, so he's obviously been like this this whole time. So. You. You. You could be greeted with this Capricorn in the relationship, where it can prove to be quite challenging. Self entitlement. Um. Conf uh, conflict. Not giving too much. He's, the land behind him is barren and you have to cross him. You have to please him. Uh, you know, sacrifices, gifts. Um, there's, there's things we have to do for the emperor to appease him. So it really is going above and beyond and it's not going to be an easy journey. But like I said, fighting for each other could well be worth it. Unforeseen circumstances as well with the tower card. This is destructive energy. Now this is all fire on this side and fire is argumentative. Fire um, escalates very, very quickly. So I'm not sure if one of you will have a short temper or the way you argue, okay, um, can be very, very explosive or very intense. There could also be unforeseen circumstances with the Tower card. Now, the Tower card can possibly indicate things that are a little bit taboo as well, okay, the darkness, the phallic symbol of the, the Tower here. Um, so it can indicate someone being a little bit dishonest or someone not being truthful. It can also indicate... Um, someone's judgment, someone's wrath, okay, because the thunder here can be analogized to the god, to the Greek god Zeus, who was the, the god of thunder. Um, and, you know, it wasn't just, I'm not just comparing it to, to the Greek mythologies. Um, in the Near Eastern traditions as well, there was a god called Baal, um, who was also the thunder god, okay. So, nonetheless, um, we I see it as a strike of, in this context, the thunder is, a, is is wrath, okay? It's targeting something because it's done something to the other person. So it can also be translated into spiteful behavior, which can be detrimental to your relationship with the tower card. That will throw you off, that will cause pain, that will cause conflict, that will cause argumentative energy because fire is combustion, it's conflagration. So things can... Um, become very excessive or explosive very, very quickly. So this is something you're going to have to learn to manage through communication. I spoke about communication um, and reflection. Maybe it's best that you need time to reflect when you get into those situations with your partner. Um, because if you don't, things will escalate between the two of you very quickly and it's not going to give you growth because it's barren, okay? I will leave it at that though, Cappy. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this reading has been helpful for you.